welcome to the heart of a Viking. These art lessons are taught by Mrs. Minto from the Cape and Lopen School District in Delaware. I hope you have fun, create imaginative works of art, and make sure you share them with someone because, after all, the visual arts are meant to be seen. episodes this week we are focusing on food this is food week here at the heart of a viking and every project that we make will be inspired by the look the texture or the appearance of food beginning with today's project which is a puffy paint ice cream cone painting so I'm super excited to share this with you and I was also really excited to learn the history of ice cream and how ice cream was invented where it was inspired and how it eventually became a treat that 90% of Americans consume each year so I am super excited to share all this with you so grab your thinking cap, grab your creativity, and grab your out-of-the-box art supplies because today we need some pretty unique art supplies that you probably have at your house. So join me in learning a little bit and then I'll meet you over at your art creating space in just a moment. I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Did you know that ice cream has been around for a very, very long time? As a matter of fact, ancient Greece people used to eat ice mixed with honey and fruits. And Alexander the Great, he enjoyed snow flavored with honey and nectar. And before there was the milk-based ice cream that the world enjoys today, ice cream was introduced in the 10th century and they were all from ice. Ice cream had an evolution from China and Asia as well. In 200 BC, a frozen mix of ice and rice was introduced in China. And then in Asia, it was around the 16th century that they began to use their horses to bring fruit sorbets from Dali. And until the 1800s, ice cream remained a delicacy only enjoyed by the rich. The ice cream evolution in the United States began in about 1851 in Boston. America then produced ice cream to send to its troops during World War II. Eventually, technological advances made the ice cream production and more flavors even possible. Today, America makes about 1.6 billion gallons a year. Americans consume more ice cream than any other country. You know what the most favorite flavor is? Vanilla. How about some ice cream fun facts? 90% of American households eat ice cream. The biggest ice cream sundae was created in Canada in 1988 and weighed 24 tons. An average school bus weighs 17 tons, so this ice cream weighed more than a school bus. Ice cream cones were invented during the 1904 World Fair in St. Louis when there was a large demand for ice cream and the vendor ran out of cups. So he asked for help from the nearby waffle vendor and together they've made history. Over her entire lifetime, one dairy cow can produce enough milk for 9,000 gallons of ice cream. In the United States, July is National Ice Cream Month. And did you know that one ice cream cone can be finished off in about 50 licks? Alrighty, Cape Artists, let's see what we need. Today for our project, we're going to be needing some shaving cream, the foamy kind. Then we'll be needing both types of glue here, a glue stick and some white glue. We'll be needing a pencil and one paintbrush, a plastic cup, and one color of food coloring. We'll be needing a pair of scissors and some crayons. And of course, your piece of white paper. All right, here we go on our ice cream adventure. Start with your white paper, turn it so that it's tall or vertical in front of you and fold it in half one time, just like this. After you've folded it in half, you can go ahead and open it up and then you're going to cut straight up the center. Once it's cut, you're going to use your glue stick and you're going to glue the two halves together on one of the short sides just like this. OK, 
Okay, so turn your paper tall in front of you and at the very bottom, the side closest to you, I'd like for you to mark how tall your hand is. So put a little dot above your tallest finger and a little dot under your wrist. Now we're going to use those dots to help us draw a triangle shape that will become our cone. So you can see that my triangle is upside down just like this and now I'm drawing some diagonal lines across it to make it look like it has the waffle texture just like a waffle cone might have. Now I'm going to start building some scoops of ice cream on top. I want to make sure I have at least four scoops of ice cream. I can have more if I make them a little smaller, but I want to try not to make them so large that I have less than four. So just kind of go with your instinct and decide how big you think they should be. Mine is about two inches tall if you want to be precise and more similar to mine. But as long as you have about four scoops of ice cream, it'll be perfect. Then when you finish that last scoop, you can feel free to add a cherry on top. Okay, so back to the cone. Now I'm going to use my brown crayon to make the waffle color of the waffle cone. I'm pressing hard on all of the pencil lines and then I'll color it in a little bit more softly. This technique mimics a shading technique that creates a more 3D sort of look. It's going to make it appear as though the cone actually continues around the sides and to the back. Pretty cool to make a 3D looking triangle. Then once the cone is finished, I'm going to move up and color the cherry. But don't color the ice cream scoops yet. That's going to be our puffy paint. Okay, so are you ready to make our puffy paint? You're going to select one color of, from your food coloring. Whatever color you want is fine with me. Then you're going to spray some of your foam shaving cream into your plastic cup that you have. And you're probably gonna fill it about a third of the way up. That's some fun fractions into art today. Now I'm going to take my Elmer's glue and just drizzle in a little bit. Not too much, just a little drizzle will be fine. Then I'm going to squeeze in one drop of my food coloring, just one. So pay attention, go slow, there we go. Now I'm going to use my paintbrush to mix this up. All right, so once that's all mixed up, we realize now that we've made a tint by only adding one little drop of food coloring to our white shaving cream, we've created a very light color. No matter what color you made, it should be very light and that's good because during our project, we're going to make it darker and darker and darker. So when we have that very light tint color, we're going to either pick to put it at the top or the bottom of our ice cream cone. It doesn't matter to me, I'm going to put mine at the top. Now I'm going to brush my brush in kind of a different way. I'm not going to brush it, but I'm going to more like tap it so that it looks like scooped ice cream, not perfectly flat, but kind of puffy and just like a scooped ice cream scoop. So as I finish with that one, now I, whatever's left in my cup, I'm going to add another little drop of food coloring. And before I start to paint, I'm going to compare the color on my paintbrush to what I've already painted. I want it to be a little darker this time. So mine wasn't dark enough, so I decided to add a second drop of food coloring. I'll stir it, stir it, stir it, mix it up, and then I'll compare it before I start painting. I want this to be just slightly darker. That's better, perfect. Okay, 
So I'm gonna repeat those steps again. Add another one or two drops of food coloring. I'm gonna go with two this time because I remembered from last time I needed two. And stir, stir, stir. And I would need this color to be slightly darker than the color I just got done painting. So after I get it all mixed up, I'm going to compare what's on my paintbrush to what I've already painted and see if I need to add some more food coloring. Oh, that looks pretty similar. So I'm gonna scrape that off a little bit and add a little bit more color color. All right, last color, a couple of extra drops, one or two or maybe three. Stir, stir, stir. And again, I'm looking for this color to be slightly darker than the last one. All right, Cape Artist, there you have it. Doesn't that look beautiful? So I have my minty colored ice cream cones and I've painted it using different tints of green. This technique is really awesome to be able to know and to learn whenever you are painting on your own or even if you're using crayons or colored pencils, you can definitely incorporate tints and it can be very useful in lots of situations. So this is a great thing to practice. I hope you had a great time. I hope that you had fun making your puffy paint out of shaving cream and glue. And I'll see you back here next time at the Heart of a Viking. HOB artists, don't forget to hop on over to Art Sonia to upload a photograph of your piece of artwork to your art portfolio. I can't wait to see it.